last two and a half weeks ago when certain members who then included the rest of the company were refusing to negotiate rather than come to the table. None of us want to strike, you know, this is our fifth uh, day of industrial action now. Um, we find it very difficult, you know, it's, it's our fifth day without pay. Um, and during a, 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 this, this uh, cost of living uh, crisis, you know, everyone is struggling. But we're here today to support our lower colleagues, uh, our lower paid colleagues uh, within the business uh, that are having to go to food banks uh, just to, to, to live. We're, we're, we're not we're not that fussed about how much it's going to be. We just want them to come back and negotiate. We want a better deal. We've not we've not asked for a percentage or a certain amount. We just ask them to come back and renegotiate and talk to us. Like, like I say, you know, none of us want to be here. None of us want to be out striking. You know, when the weather was nice, it was, it was okay. But now it's getting cold. It's, it's getting worse. But it's not just that. It's, it's the cost of living. You know, it, it's really biting hard now. I, now I looked at my pay packet. You know, last month. Uh, I'll go, uh, I looked at it this month as well, and you do notice the difference. You know, it, we're, we're losing a whole day's money. You know, and like I say, this is my fifth day now of losing money, along with my colleagues. Everyone's lost five days' money, and, and the cost of living uh, crisis we're living at the moment. No one can afford that, but we've got, we've still got to do it because we need to get the ball back and talking to our members. So we got around 40,000 BT open reach and call centre workers uh, out on strike today, including our 999. Uh, call handlers, uh, around 500 of them, and this is an ongoing dispute over pay. Uh, the company have imposed uh, a 4.8 average pay rise, uh, which also includes last year, um, and we know that the company can afford to give our members more. We've been asking for negotiations now for a couple of months. This must be the only dispute in the UK at the moment where the company is actually that arrogant at CEO and board level that they're refusing to even negotiate. Well, with our 999 call handlers, uh, we gave them dispensation on the four previous strikes. Um, we gave BT two and a half weeks notice that on this occasion we weren't going to give them that dispensation. We offered BT during that period a chance to suspend the strikes, uh, a chance to get in the room, providing both parties were willing to come together uh, with fresh proposals that would bring us closer together and the company haven't even responded uh, to that offer. Uh, you know, we're not going to walk away from this dispute and um, we're going to keep going, we're going to review our tactics, we're going to continue to put more pressure on the company. Well, the government um, should be encouraging uh, BT to come to the negotiating table. They seem to do it with most of the other disputes. In this one, they've not even said anything about BT. I would say to the government, You've got decent, hard-working people here. They don't want to be on strike. They want a decent pay rise um, to deal with the cost of living crisis, which, as everybody knows, is soaring. Uh, workers are at a tipping point, and it's time that even the government actually said to BT management, you need to get in the room and negotiate a settlement to this dispute.